Hello fellow plant enthusiasts. So it's been quite a while since my last upload and I've just been very, very busy the past couple months. So sorry to keep all of you waiting and waiting and waiting for my next video. But here it is. So back in February, I set up some cold stratification for some Saracenia seeds using this McCoy pottery and some peat moss and I had like some older seeds here and two different types of hybrid Saracenias that have germinated and it will be interesting to see what cool pictures these new plantlets will produce. And typically you leave them for four to six weeks in the refrigerator, but it wasn't until a couple of weeks ago that I took them out and today is May 16, so they've been in the refrigerator for longer than what you normally would put them for, you know, or what the minimum would be. But, as you can see, success. So let me zoom in and slide this over. And you can see some roots forming off these seeds. And over here, there are some as well from both of these. So I am so excited. This was my first time cold stratifying any seeds and I have success. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some even closer shots of these beautiful little roots that are sticking out of the seeds. So aren't these beautiful? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, eight, maybe nine, 10. Uh, just from this one grouping alone. These seeds were old and I don't see any that have sprouted. So then looking here, you can see one, two, three. So anyway, not as much as this one, even though I had more seeds. These were the pictures I have if you've seen my videos with my pitcher plants some hybrid variety of Flava and possibly Leucophila, where the pitchers can reach like 32 to 33 inches tall. And these are a redder variety of pitcher that I have, but they're not as big. And these flowers are redder, whereas those, they're completely green except for the petals, which are red. So they're kind of unusual even among Saracenia flowers. But yeah, I just set them on peat moss, and then I put them in a McCoy pottery with saran wrap in the fridge. And one thing I did though, is after I pulled them out of the fridge, I did add more water. I noticed it was a little dry, but at least it stayed humid enough with the saran wrap that I did have success at germinating, whereas I was a little worried, honestly. But I hope you found this video informative and enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll be uploading a lot more videos soon. So make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy planting.